So I was, uh, I made a film called Cartel Land uh, about these two different vigilante groups on, on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border fighting against the Mexican drug cartels and, and traveling with that film. And, um, you know, a film I'm very proud of, uh, but obviously there's a much, there's much larger story to be told about the drug war. And so uh, through conversations and then ultimately through conversations with Showtime, uh, developed this concept to uh, look at the drug war through multiple lenses, um, through the prism of, of heroin, through the prism of the, of the opioid epidemic, and uh, brought together a team of friends and uh, investigative journalists uh, to start researching the topic uh, to see where we wanted to focus our cameras. Did you kind of send out different crews to all these different sort of stories and then pull the footage back and, and edit? Yeah, this is a much, much different uh, experience for me. Um, I'm normal. Usually you're there, you're shooting it. In, in your past two films, that I, the last two that I saw, City yeah. and uh, City of Ghosts and the, car and the Cartel, you were there shooting it. And then you edit your films as well, usually. Yeah, so for this, uh, we had an amazing, amazing group of uh, DPs and uh, field producers who were out there capturing the stories. Um, and it, again, a, a much different experience for me because I'm normally out there myself. Um, but we were, you know, we're filming multiple locations at once, uh, multiple countries, obviously. Um, and you know, they they did an incredible, incredible job. How did you? How was it for you relinquishing that control? And what kind of direction did you give to them? So then the hopes that you would get footage that came back looking like what is sort of what you would consider your natural aesthetic? Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a control freak, so it's hard to relinquish some of that control. Uh, no, I mean, I, I wanted to have it, you know, have the show have the same aesthetic as, as my previous two films, and, and especially Cartel Land um, brought together a lot of the same team that, that, that worked on uh, that film. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think this is a, you know, there's no stats in the show. There's no talking heads. Um, there's no, you know, real context uh, to the epidemic. My goal, I felt like my job was to put a human face to this topic. It's so often relegated to headlines. Um, and, and I think, you know, it's, it's obviously become a buzzword used by politicians and ping pong around uh, DC. But, you know, I felt like my job was to allow audiences um, who might not otherwise engage with the issue, might, might keep it at arm's length, to, to empathize uh, with the characters that we followed. And so, you know, it, it largely takes place in, in three places in, in Guerrero. Uh, Mexico, uh, with poppy growers and, and cartel members down there who are growing and transporting. Um, the most lucrative, essentially, poppy field in, in Mexico, right? Or like in the, it, yeah, it's, it's sort of uh, the region where, where most poppies are, are, are grown. Um, and then addicts in, in the U.S., uh, you know, a few in different places, but, you know, one of our main characters in, in Atlanta, and then law enforcement um, in Columbus, uh, Ohio, and so, I, you know, again, I really wanted to, to highlight the lives and the people who are affected by this epidemic um, with a goal, again, that, that hopefully people will have a much greater understanding um, by, by being able to connect and empathize and understand um, all of these people who are trapped uh, by the cycle of addiction. Mm -hmm.